not do that quest at all. So, uh, yeah, that's why. Anyway, the correct answer here is the second option. Transportation vehicles. Or, sorry, transportation training. I see. It's in the basic laws of transportation. Ah! Heh, <laughs> exactly. So, could that be... Yeah, we have the special support section. I've been given a car! So I'm intending to drill the traffic laws into your heads here. So, those are the most important details of using horrible cars. Did I manage to drill that all into your heads? Uh, I guess. Wow, I didn't expect to have to listen to a lecture in a place like this. It seems like the rules are easier to remember than I thought. Since orbital cars are increasing, this is good knowledge for us to have. That's something we're thinking. It's only been about 10 years since the first orbital cars were invented. Finally, important rules are in place for safe use. It's rather easy to get a driver's license nowadays, compared to before. There should be a test you have to pass, right? Wow, this, this is missing lines all over the place. Yeah, there are places that offer the tests. But I wanted to make sure you guys were familiar with just the basic rules for today. Uh, yeah, Empress, this, uh, this basically takes place in the pseudo 1950s, I would say, approximately. Um, but they had their big industrial revolution about 50 years ago, with the discovery of horrible power. Uh, that's that's a whole long discussion and stuff, but uh, basically the, all their technology is 50 years past the industrial revolution and rapidly ex is rapidly ascending, so it's uh, very anachronistic compared to what we face in reality for our uh, for our technological increases. It's uh, pretty interesting. Anyway, where was I? For now, though, I think we should have Noelle do the driving. Yes, Roger that. I see. Of course Noelle can drive a normal car. You've driven that armored car around a lot during your time with the Cardian Force. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of orders, and so we had to travel around quickly. Well then, I'll finally pass the orbital car around to you guys. It's parked just outside, so come along. <laughs> this is quite the surprise. Yeah, the director has his moments. But an orbital car? I really don't know much about them, but they must be Baleen or Reinfer models, right? Baleen? No, that's supposed to be Vern. God. Why, why do I know this and I don't even have... Ugh, whatever. It's supposed to be a Vern or Reinfer model. Yeah, those are the only two makers of uh, general use orbital cars. The Vern maker is much more well established. They make all sorts of small and medium sized cars, up to even buses. Reinford cars are more often luxury cars, right? Yeah, there's lots of good options among both of them. And plenty of military vehicles that are repurposed for civilian use. <laughs> I wasn't really feeling it before, but now, now I'm getting excited. Oh boy, you're really feeling it now, huh? Okay, let's go check it out. Now, uh, we, we could check it out. But, uh, there's something very important we have to do. We have to talk to our boy here. Who was, uh, translated as Howling, but I've seen another translation, and it's one, apparently. Who knows? Who knew? I certainly didn't. Oh yeah, I love the Fallout series. Um, well, I wouldn't say love. I definitely enjoyed the Fallout series. Uh, I haven't played Fallout 4, but Fallout 3 was a lot of fun. And Fallout New Vegas had 
had a lot of good moments as well, so I do like it. Anyway, this is uh, this is me trying to get a book off this asshole. Yep, he gave me the first book of this series, uh, Sunny Agnes, or Sunny Agnes, if you will. So that's uh, that's pretty useful. That's uh, 9:30 already. Wow. Hmm. So yeah, getting getting that book is super important, because if you don't get it, you can't get the ultimate weapon in this game. And uh, this is the only opportunity you have in the game to pick it up. So uh, make sure you collect your books. It's very important. But with that said, I'm actually going to uh, stop the stream here for today. I'd like to thank everyone who joined me for the Twitch stream today coming out. Thank you very much for coming, and uh, I hope you come again when I uh, do a new stream next time. If you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be up in a couple hours, but whenever. Um, you know, do things. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what I could do better. Tell me what I could do worse. So I certainly, certainly can't do worse. Well, maybe I can. Let's find out. Anyway, enough blathering around. Uh, yeah, have a good night, everyone. Or morning, or evening, or whatever time of day you are watching this. Thank you very much. Farewell.